You're watching Betting the Breeders' Cup presented by FanDuel. Let's get some insight and analysis from our handicappers and experts to make you some money. PNC Bank Philly and Mayor Sprint with the morning line odds presented by FanDuel. Well, none other than last year's champion, Goodnight Olive, is your 6-5 to five morning line favorite. She looks to join Groupie Doll as the only two-time winner. Brynn, you're alongside Nick Luck. We're here at beautiful Santa Anita. Okay, that's the question mark. Can she do it again? I think she can. Will She's she? Actually, will she do it again? I think this might be a little bit tougher for her on this track. And I'll come to the main reason why I think that in a moment. Remind ourselves of last year. She didn't have the most straightforward 2022 into this, but she was very good on the day, very tough on the day, and earned huge plaudits from her trainer, Chad Brown. She's got a lot of heart, but that veneer of invincibility has just been chipped away at this season. And in society, I think we might have a bit of a, a freaky filly here. For trainer Steve Or could bomb out and finish last. But if getting in any way loose on the lead, on a track like this, if it's riding fast, she could be deadly. Uh, it's all or bust, I think, for well, me with going, her. They're going the seven for a long distance. Speed and stamina is needed. Let's bring in our handicappers. Edzo, Matty, how do we see it? Because it does appear to be a race with a ton of speed. Yeah, and I think the speed of the speed it ends up being the seven. We heard Nick say it absolutely perfectly. I think that society is going to get out there, and I think it's one of those races for me. We do have these races, Maddie, at the Breeders' Cup where look, we're always looking for prices, we're always looking for value, but sometimes you do have to eat a little bit of chalk. But, you know, look at a 7-1 exacta might end up coming back maybe 8 or $9 for a dollar. What's, what's wrong with a 9-to-1 return if you think it's, it's ice cold, so to speak? When I first started looking at this race, I said, great, I'm going to be able to bet against Goodnight Olive. She's going to be a short price. Maybe she's not quite as good as she was last year. I think she's still the best horse in this you race. Do, huh? I think yeah. society's a little bit dressed up. She won on a wet track last time. The race prior, she was on a conveyor belt, a wicked speed bias at Ellis Park. Goodnight Olive's run at Saratoga last time. If she does well, that, how about, she's how about winning by five. Though? How about on this track, though? Certainly could play. Absolutely. But I think there's other gas in here. Ugiri wants to go. You know, Monterey is not a slow filly. I... I just think Goodnight Olive's the best. And to your point, I'm not proud of picking a six to five shot, no, no. but right. I, I, I think she's the best horse. Well, seven eighths of a uh, seven eighths of a mile, the race, right? Yeah. So I, I think maybe that's what might separate some of the horses that are maybe pr proven and are maybe quick at the three, you know, at the three quarters race, six furlongs. My concern is it softens her up just enough that it helps Goodnight Olive because she wants every bit of seven eighths. Okay. Yeah. Well, we're lo at least we're looking a little chalky early right now, Britt and Nick. That's okay. You have not looked very chalky the entire way along. Yeah. The point is. You f should feel proud of picking a six to five shot if you think the price, the real price is three to five. Well, there you go. FanDuel is the only sportsbook app where you can bet the Breeders' Cup. And right now, new customers get a no-sweat win bet up to $200. That means you'll get up to $200 back if the horse you pick to win doesn't win. So download the FanDuel app and bet the Breeders' Cup today.